Good evening on this lovely, beautiful Friday evening here at Home Depot. And today we're going to show you some of the 50% off deals that we found here in the garden, not the garden, in the, in the patio section. And then we're going to show you some great clearance deals on tools, including Ryobi and Milwaukee and Rigid. So, you know, this is our section here where they have all of the patio stuff, the supplies, the cushions, and the furniture, right? And they're starting to 50% off quite a few of the items here because they need to make room here for the holiday decorations that are going to be starting to come in here in mid-September there. What's up there, Lynn is... Leah, is that Leah Liz? Lynn? Yeah. For some reason, I have a hard time reading those gray letters on the black background. And Jeff says, hey, hey, and so does Elvaro. So look at this. We've got... Most of these seat cushions here are like $14.98 from $29.98. So if you were looking to spruce up your patio stuff, man, you better get down here soon. We don't know how long these are going to last. So here's their sign there. See, it says select patio up to 50% off. And they got some really nice designs. A lot of these have the Sunbrella fabric on them. I like this kind of design here, nice tropical. Uh, same thing, most of these are half price. Bubbles checked in. What's up, Bubbles? And Mike Land is here. We have a cool room now. Same here. Outdoor furniture on clearance. And that's, I guess that's in San Antonio is where Mike Land is talking about. And John John just checked in from Philly. Philly, Philly. So you guys, uh, you're checking in on that um, Fern Hollow Bridge, the reconstruction. I heard it's coming along pretty good. Yes, yeah, so we have, more, these are all like pretty much half off, half off all of these cushions and these are some pretty nice ones too if you when you get cushions see if you can get the cushions that have this these are the what they call welting that goes around the cushions it makes it just a little bit firmer see this here right here makes it a little bit firmer so yeah most of these um here they're not telling you if there's any savings or not but most of them they, they are telling you see awesome discounts you betcha mitch coin says hello from illinois okay well this one i like i like this little tropical design here on this guy he's 29.98 but that's okay i'm assuming he was probably 50 bucks before um again you'll have to check on what some of these were if you've been walking through and checking the the patio section here before you probably already know what some of these are going for here so, for example, here's a rug, the gray lattice, which I'm assuming is that gray one on the back there. Uh, some of these other carpets, there's like this reversible sign here. So you're already seeing significant. This is probably mm, a little more than 20% off here. This one says, hello, spring. <laughs> That's why it's 20% off. Now, I wanted to show you some of the furniture ones here that were some pretty decent deals you got here like some of this wicker furniture so this is the wicker love seat is down to 199 from 249 but just wait because i'm going to show you some that are even uh, better discounted as we come over to hill here you got rocking chairs you got a black one you got a white one and they're marked down to 103 from 129. There's your number right there. And check this set out. This is that St. Charles five piece fire pit set. So you got these four chairs, which are really nice. I love these metal rockers. These are nice. And you got the thicker cushions right here. And actually these feel kind of smooth too. I like this. Can you get through? Oh, okay. So these right here, look at this. This set is down to $7.79 from $14.99, dudes. We're talking pretty much almost 50% off. And you get the fire pit, too. So these four chairs, and I love these rockers. And if you look, too, it, it's got that kind of uh, textured metal. I like that nice, classy look. And you know what I would do is if I bought this set, now that you got a huge savings, I would invest going online and getting some of the real good resort style cushions 
the ones that are square that have the double welting all the way around them that really and give you a more firmer uh, base to sit on that's what I would do uh, and I'm gonna walk us around this way uh, what's our 10 by 10 steel hardtop down to so it looks like they've taken yeah, about 270 bucks off or so this guy's down to 1039 from 1299 this is it right here steel top let me see if I can show you the top this is like a typical Key West roof here beautiful four-way low hip gable we call it it's called a low hip gable roof and um, those are just perfect for hurricanes and like the storms and everything but you know you don't have any you don't have any uh, tile or cedar uh, shingles that are going to get blown off. Now here you got this style well, two pack of the dining chairs. Again, these are classy too with the double welting. I'm going to see if they have one set up here. These are down to 119 from 149. Those are $30 off. And just look for the yellow stickers now. Just because you see a yellow sticker doesn't mean that it's cheaper unless it says that it was. That's what I always look for. I'm very suspicious until I see something that says was or, you know, clearance and here's the new price. Um, let's see what else we've got in here. Let's see if anybody had any questions. Angel says, I got lucky two days ago and bought seven piece chair set for 125. Couldn't get the whole set with the table because it had been damaged. Well, if it's damaged, is a way to fix it? You know? Yeah, and Tim says, well, some days I wish I could trade our Maynards for Home Depot. We don't have, or, or I think it's called Menards, right? We don't have Menards down here, in, at least in southern Florida. We can't got them. Uh, what is this one? This is, oh, that glass round table. So a lot of these aren't even set up. You just have to look on the box for what they are. But this guy, here, let me flip this around here. He is... $69 from $89. And KJ says it's Jeff Ostroff. Woo! -hoo -hoo. So there's the other sign they got. Um, I see this is a that cute little stone table up there. Let me see what that one looks like. Hold on, I'm trying to zoom into it. So it looks like that one's down to 103 from 129. Okay. Um, just come in and look around. I mean, all across the bottom, they got the yellow stickers. I'm not going to show you every single thing. I'm just going to point out the ones that are significant. And what we got here. Here's one that's like dramatically dropped. This one's almost 50%. So here's that style well. This is that Florence three-piece bistro set, they call this. So it's wicker with, a, with cushions on the chair, right? I don't think it comes with these. Okay, it's a three-piece set, so there you go. Tan finish, sky cushions. I don't know, it might. Sometimes it's, it's just hard to tell. Uh, but anyway, this guy's down to 179 from 299. And let's see. Mark is saying the rigid medium box is half off right now. Yeah, we're going to be going over by there in a minute. I want to double check that. Uh, so you're seeing a lot of a lot of the style well stuff is like almost. So here's one that's uh, like $29 off. These guys here are like 40 bucks off. That's you know even more significant. So you're seeing just huge discounts across the board right now. And let me see if there was anything else here. See a lot of these guys here. Just, just one after another after another here. Some of these look like they're at about uh, 20 percent off right now some are more so there you have it and let's see what else we got over here anything anything nothing nothing all right so now we're going to head over to clarence and and i'm going to show you something that that's very surprising that caught my eye here a, a few minutes ago do you guys remember a couple weeks ago when I bought that Ryobi edger, that lawn edger, the battery one? We're gonna come across it here in a second here. I was very shocked what they did with the price here. Could not believe it. I go, something wrong here, man? 
it's like has inflation really hit us so this is what I don't understand here this is the edger here now when I bought it last week the stickers over here $2.99 I'm looking on this side stickers over here $3.79 oops so I don't know which one it is is the price going up I'm gonna have to recheck that price again online and, and see what it is but anyway I just wrapped up filming my tool review video for this and I'm going to be working on that tonight and hope to get it up over the weekend and by the way guys don't forget Sunday night at 8 p.m is our tool giveaway where we announce the winner so if you haven't entered yet you know what to do go and look for monday's live stream that we did four days ago and on that live stream i show you all the tools we're giving away and i give you the links to enter that contest and we are picking the winners at 8 p.m sunday night automatically all of the links will become disabled at 8 p.m sunday night so make sure you guys are there if you haven't entered you better enter there's a lot of great tools we're giving away. That $200 Craftsman, uh, the, the Bluetooth radio. We're giving away a Ryobi chainsaw. We're giving away a DeWalt job site fan. Uh, three Bosch Freaks. Holy cow, man. So there's going to be a lot of winners. And I'm giving away a whole bunch of those Milwaukee. Remember the little red uh, Raptor squares? The little dual set that they have at Christmas? Well, I bought so many of them. And an unbelievable discount of like nine bucks back in january i must have bought probably all of the stock that every store down here had because i've given away so many of those things so uh as we come up here on the clearance patiently waiting for q4 look at this they really stocked the heck out of the clearance section today man it is totally packed to the gills look at this first one here so this is the rigid one. This is $85, marked down from $149. See if they have this in your store. And by the way, if this is clearance and you check online, you're not going to see it, most likely. So I always get people call about, oh, this guy's, he's just giving us false hope. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about, blah, 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 blah. And, I, and it's like, I have to keep explaining to people. The clearance items, generally, you'll either get them to not show up at all, like it'll get an error, or... If they do show up, they show up at full price. You have to come into the store, into the clearance section, and see if it's here with that yellow sticker. But there's proof. I'm not making it up. This is not fake news. Huh? This is here and now. So, and then um, not all of these are probably going to be the best deals because um, they were just stuck over here. Now, I don't know what, what the original price is on some of these, but some we do. For example, this impact driver, look at this. It's already down to 49 bucks. So look at this. If you need an extra impact driver, you know, so what? Little DIY special here. It's brushed. Who cares? Hey, if it turns a screw, right? If you can earn some money turning a screw with it, there you go. Um, here's the, oh, this is, this is one that I'm giving away. This Sunday night, believe it or not. So I actually got this a few months ago at our other Home Depot. This is their five and a half inch Cirque saw and it's 69 here. So I know this isn't a good price. That's the full price because the one I had bought is 39 bucks. It was being marked down at the other Home Depot store. This store has not marked it down yet. So this is one of the tools we were giving away Sunday night. This I think is a pretty good deal. Although I don't know what the original price is on this. There's your skew on there. This is the jigsaw, and hey, come on, guys, 45 bucks for a jigsaw is a steal. I don't care whether you're Shaka Gillis and you don't like it, and, um, you know, for average DIYer or handyman or just or anybody looking for throw an extra jigsaw in their, in their toolbox, I mean, you can't beat that deal. And Jaden says he went to Lowe's today and saw Halloween up already. Oh, I got to get over there. That's my favorite time of year, man. The, ha the Halloween and Christmas stuff. I used to have that big display. Most of you guys know me in my earlier years when I started this channel back in 2006. 2006 or 2012, I had a massive 60,000 light, all LED Christmas display synchronized to, to the music. And cars used to come by and tune their radio to the my station and I would broadcast to their car radio. Um, look at this, a grinder for 59 is not bad either. Um, because like the DeWalt one, I think is 139. And by the way, the DeWalt jigsaw is 199. 
So you're, I mean, you know, when you compare to DeWalt, you're getting a good deal. 79 for the um, multi-tool. I'm not sure how good a deal that is or not. But again, when you walk in here, get the Home Depot employees to scan these in with their scanner. Because, some, you know, when the prices drop, they don't come and change the yellow sticker all the time. So it, it sits there like an hourglass. It's like tipping over the hourglass. And the sands erode. The price erodes. And I've been lucky enough a couple of times to come in here and find something at a penny and got it. Husky, here's your uh, tread plate down to $29.96. This one, this Panasonic Whisper, I installed this in a friend's house back in April. Love this thing. It is super, super duper quiet. She paid $184 for it, so it's down to $169 here, and that's a good price. And, oh, again, that's another one of the rigid, uh, down below the DeWalt there, there was another rigid, another one of these here, the Cirque Saw. I would say that's a good price. I would say so. So anyway, you guys know I bought that that Ryobi Edger, and guess what? I sold my Craftsman. It was a Sears Craftsman four-wheeled walk-behind Edger. Sold it for a hundred dollars a couple of nights ago. All right. So here is the, here's their 550 CFM blower. is down to 129. So. That one needs more time to bake in the oven for the price to come down. <clears throat> As we come down over here, I see some Milwaukee gloves. No, I don't know. Is $21, uh, that seems to strike me as that was the price that they were. I don't know. Were these more before, guys? If anybody owns these, let me know. So, I don't know if these are a, really a clearance price yet. Or will they be? I thought I saw something over here I needed. Oh, you know what? I was going to look at these drywall screws here. These fine. The only problem is... See, you, you use these when you're going through metal studs. But the problem is, is they got a number two Phillips. And I prefer to use the fine ones that have the square Robertson. Hey, there's my favorite... My favorite machine going by again. See, at Home Depot, I get stalked by the forklifts. When I go to Sam's Club, I get stalked by that robot machine that goes around and cleans the floor. That thing just follows me everywhere. All right, let's see if we got anything else there. Not up. All right. So now we're going up front. And let's see. Mike Lynn says, guess I'll go tomorrow to see what they have. I'm going to see if, yeah, there was something on the... There was a Ryobi end cap over here that they put some newer stuff on. Oh, I got good news and I got bad news. The good news is they have more of these, and I love these. I picked up another one of these a couple of weeks ago. I was working at my friend's house putting in a, um, a garbage disposal in their kitchen. So I lay this down right at the bottom of the sink, at the you know, in the vanity there. And this is great for your back, okay? That's the good news. The bad news... They jacked the price up a buck. Yeah, it's not a not a deal killer, but I'm just saying they were fourteen eighty eight not too long ago. Okay, here is the other display that they just added. I'm gonna see what is the date on this. I always come in. The first thing I look for is the date code, but I don't see it on here unless it's blocked by something. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they added one here. But anyway, so this is another buy one get one free Ryobi display that they set up. We had another one set up before. And this is the new one. So if you buy either the brushless battery operated table saw or the miter saw, and both of these are brushless, they're from the HP series. So if you buy either one of these guys, they're gonna give you a four amp hour high performance battery. Now the thing that's always bothered me about the high performance batteries from Ryobi is I always have a hard time confirming whether it's high performance. So I see it there on the package. But see, when I see high performance, I am expecting to see that gray HP right there. Nowhere is it on the battery. And I'm like looking and looking. And finally, in that tiny little green letters right there below 18 volt lithium, you'll see it there, high performance. But it makes it hard to spot it from like further than two feet away. I, I, I always thought they should have had the big HPs on there. 
And Steven says, hey, are those Zep spray bottles on sale? I, I think these were for something. I picked up a couple of these because I realized I, I have some car care stuff at home that I need to put into, into these. And I picked up this. This is part of my Home Depot haul for tonight. Um, we were cutting down one of our hedges today, trimming it. And I noticed we had some aphids. See that right there in the middle there? This covers aphids. And we also had some of that black fungusy crap that that is the sign that you have aphids because when they're done doing their nastiness there on the leaves it leaves like this fungus behind um how, how many pieces are in? 95 piece for 29.97 ryobi has yet to beat that kit that i have in my trunk which is all like 150 pieces or something that is my life bulb kit that i always leave in my trunk and that thing has saved my bacon so many times it's unbelievable uh, let's see did they lower the price it looks like they lowered the price down to 99 on the vacuum so i don't know because i'm looking for the fine print oh wait there it is let me see hold on i'm trying to find oh these end on october 30th okay that's what i was looking for you find the little black little tiny letters way in the corner there so all of these deals on the ryobi end on october 30th that means <clears throat> the kit there the 2-2 combo brushless is 179 it'll go back up to 199 on the 30th of october okay um and but then they're showing these other ones too here these might be uh yeah so here's the blower down to 129 it's the hp brushless blower down to 129 and the chainsaw now i gotta go back and check see i'm giving away a, a ryobi chainsaw sunday night i can't remember if it's this one or the brushed model I'm pretty sure it might be this one, guys. Well, I'll check when I get back home. So remember, Sunday night, we're giving away a a chainsaw from Ryobi. Because I bought it, I got it free when I bought the two HP batteries. Or was it the other way around? I always forget which. It was It was uh, Ryobi days. I got it back in May. And so I've been waiting to, to give this thing away, man. Now, I want to show you this. They just set up this brand new display. This looks awesome. Now, I know Shaka might beg to differ, but look at that beautiful contrast of green and black. So there was a Milwaukee display here before. They got rid of it. They still have the other one, but they had a second display here. That's gone, John. So anyway, this display here is only the HP stuff. That's why you see it all like chained up, locked up and everything. So pretty much nothing here is going to be on sale unless it's Ryobi days my opinion unless you really really need something from ryobi it doesn't make sense to buy it unless it's ryobi days or if there's some other bogo deal going on you know uh they do have some interesting bits here lined up and um, the prices on there are also leading blades that aren't too bad you got four blades in here 21 bucks Compare that to the Diablo one. Do we still have the Diablo deal over here? So we have... Uh, well, this one's a lot more. This is 50 bucks, but how many blades? I'm sure the blades are much higher quality in here, too, though. This is the deal I still like. I think I showed you guys this a few weeks ago. Um, these are 988, all right? But I don't like these as much as the other deal that I'm going to show you. Because, see, these don't come with a, with a canvas pouch or anything. But if you come around the corner and spend just three bucks more, you can get this deal, okay? And this one has the canvas case, see that? I mean, so it would be foolish to get that other kit when you got this one here. Hey, by the way, uh, shout out to uh, one of our subscribers, Norman. Uh, he recognized me when I was in here before I went live. So yeah, I got recognized here. I got recognized at Costco the other day when I was filming my Costco uh, quick update that I uploaded a couple of days ago. Um, I want to show you... See, we still don't have... Okay. Well, here's a set. So it's got the torch on there. See, but this is the carbide. I'm holding out... Uh, where's the wrecker? Here's the wrecker also, which is a carbide. But I'm holding out for that new wrecker that they said has the nitrous carbide. I don't know what the difference is, but I don't know if anybody, I didn't really look into it. I just saw the announcement the other day, real brief. So if any of you guys know anything about that, let us know if it's supposed to be better or not. 
But see, I like a kit like this, but I wish they would have had these in a case, in a plastic case. Um, so you got the Wrecker, and how many, three other guys are in here? It's a five-pack. I probably need to get one of these. And by the way, I sold on, um, I sold my first item on Facebook Marketplace the other day. Finally, something sold. I sold my, Mo my Milwaukee Sawzall with a battery and charger that I bought back in 2015. And I sold that one because, you know, I have, I have the DeWalt one now that I got in a kit. So I figured I'll get rid of that big old freaking case. I think it was a massive red suitcase. All right, now I want to show you a couple of things here with the fans because the DeWalt fan is on sale. And what is this? Juan Melendez just sent a $5 super chat. Thank you so much, Juan. And he says, thanks for the information and video, Jeff. Have a great night. I will now, now that you give us that $5 super chat. Thank you so much. And you guys know you can do a super chat anytime you want in the, in the chat window. There's a dollar sign around it. You can click on that. And anytime you're watching any of our videos or anybody's video on YouTube, they have a new feature now. At the bottom of the viewer on YouTube, there's like a heart with a dollar sign around it that says thanks. You can give somebody thanks by just clicking on that and donating whatever amount you want. So here's the DeWalt job site fan. Now, I'm going to give you a caveat about this. This is the newer model, the DCE 512B. This is bare, bare bones, bare tool, no charger, see? Battery and charger sold separately. The thing I don't like about this one, and it may not be a deal breaker for you, this is not the dual power. You, you cannot plug this one in. Mine, which is the older one, the DCE 511B that we're giving away Sunday night, guys, is the dual power. They call it the hybrid. Because you can plug it in in case your battery's dead. You can plug it into an extension cord, and you'll never be without a fan ever. So I'm, I don't know what the hell DeWalt was thinking when they redesigned this thing and took away that, that privilege. Now, this is a little misleading on the sticker because I could have sworn these were 129 before. So when it says 99 was 149, okay. I'll try to get a link to this in the video description below when I get home for you. So there you go, man. Look at that. <laughs> so I don't think it was ever 149. I don't remember seeing it 149 in here. And bad news on a great fan. I have this fan too. I love this. I was using it the other day because it's so hot outside. The Ryobi misting fan is now down to... Uh, no, it, it, they raised the price rather. Yeah. These were like 85 or 89 before. Now they're up to 99. Oi. Oi, Gavolt. I can't believe it. Anything else? Everything else here is the same. No use wasting time on, on any of this stuff. The other item here from Milwaukee. Look at this. So the pack out rolling tool chest is down. 30 bucks, dudes. Look at that, huh? Check your store. See if they have that too. I don't, I don't know. I think we got a couple of others. Yeah, we got uh, Jamie Alvarez for a sixer on your way home. Thank you so much for that, Jamie. $12 super chat. And uh, JK says, have you looked at the Rigid 2.0 boxes yet? Where the heck are they? Oh, actually, I gotta see, because I don't even know if we have them here. Is this, the, is this the one we're talking about here? Let me know. Because these are showing 79 right here. Oh no, this is the cooler, I think. Hang on. I don't think this, yeah, this is the cooler. This store did might not have gotten the Rigid boxes in. Let me go check over here. They're right around the corner here. They might not be here. Oh, let's see. They should be right down here. Rigid. Rigid and frigid. Um, let's see. Oh, you, you're talking about this one? The cart is down to $49.98 from $89.98. So here you go. Here's the rolling cart. And I'm sure, since these are all made by Ketter, the same company that makes Rigid, Milwaukee, DeWalt, and I suspect the the new, um, you know, the VersaStack ones over at, at Lowe's. All of these are, yeah, because look at this. You have the Pro Organizer is down to $19.98 from... 39.98, and I got to tell you, 19.98 is a Black Friday doorbuster price. We haven't seen them that low. I can't, and I don't even think last Christmas they were that low. So yeah, and what I'm holding out for, ladies and germs, 
I don't know if we have it here. No, we don't have it yet. Um, Milwaukee has a 20-inch version of a bag like this that I'm going to get for my plumbing. So what I had before was this crappy Husky one, and it was down here. I don't even know if they still have it. I was really, really pissed off at Husky because I don't even see... So the Husky one that I had was like this, but it was longer. It was the 20-inch. So you see the stupid rivet thing they got here? The fourth time, and I'm, I'm not kidding you guys, the fourth time I carried my bag out of my car, that rivet popped off. I'm like, what the heck? I'll never buy that thing again. So when you come back over here and you look at, it's a much better build quality on the Milwaukee, on the pack out, and you have the benefit that it hooks onto your pack out, see? So look at, look at the build quality here. You have metal rivets going through the fabric all the way across. You're not relying on one stupid, useless rivet on the end. So the only thing about this, so this one's 100 bucks. The one that I want to get is supposed to be 132 I saw it online on Home Depot's website. And yes, Shaka75 says Milwaukee is overpriced. Yep, some of their stuff is high-priced. And Joshua says the rigid cooler is nice. You got it. It's nice. I have the um, that VersaStack one from um, Craftsman. That was that one's awesome. It's gasketed and it's it's very it was built very similar to that rigid, and they say it holds ice for three days. All right. Let's see if we got anything else over here. I want to show you the uh, the remaining rigids that are over here. Because that sale is coming up, uh, you got about another month before it ends. So I've got my ticket booked for Vid Summit out in LA at the end of September. It's going to be the week of, like the end, the last week of September, and somewhere around September 30th or possibly October 1st, I will be at the Home Depot Anaheim. I'm, that's my plan is to go out there and do a live stream from that very large. Home Depot. All right, so you've got a lot of these guys here so that were normally like 139 or down to 99 So you can see it across the board. And we've showed you these weeks ago. All right, these are not really new, but just in case any of you missed it. So all of these that are being marked down like 50 bucks and stuff, all of these sales right here are going to be going away on September 11th. So you've got about a month left. Okay. And same with with here with the, the saws so this one here is your dual bevel sliding miter saw right so if you buy this for $3.99 right now they're giving you that guy right there and this one is still I think I showed you this last time I was in here and this is still one of the best prices I've ever seen on a on the like six gallon jobbers I don't think I've ever seen them down in the 59 range um, although this one is only three and a half horsepower, this so it's kind of strange that you know the motor on that is weaker than my little four gallon one. And there was something else, so they have uh, nine, 199 here for the 10 inch dual bevel miter saw. And there it is, right there. So from Rigid, so all of these deals are going away September 11th. Make sure. If you were going to buy any of these things, that you get them like now. Some of the stuff is already disappearing, right? This thing's emptying out reasonably well. Some of these others are still pretty well stocked. But, you know, who knows? Sometimes as you get closer to that time, and <clears throat> remember, Labor Day weekend is another big tool buying weekend for people. They may come in here and see this and start wiping this out. So there's a lot of people that wait until Labor Day weekend to buy their tools and come in and... Pfft, so, what is the best garage door opener to get? Well, I have a champion at home, and it's a belt drive. Don't ever buy a garage door with a chain drive, ever, ever. Everybody I know, when they call me up and, oh, my garage door won't open it. Yeah, did you, when was the last time you greased your chain? Uh, well, I haven't. Like, well, you're supposed to grease it, like, every few months. Yeah, so the belt drive is, like, zero maintenance. You don't do anything, and it's quiet. It's much more quieter than the chain. So that's what I would go um, every year around Black Friday. And I showed you last time. It was like, what was it, 78 bucks, guys, 
that they had that blowout door buster on on the belt drive um, garage door opener. Now it might be a lower model and, and probably not as good as some of the other ones, but you know. And remember, just because you see a display like this doesn't mean you're getting great prices. This right here on the ratchet, that's the full price. That's the full price on that guy there. And let's see. Rick P says, how you doing, Jeff? I've been busy with work and on vacation, but I'm back to see your videos. Good. Glad you made it back. And yeah, I got to catch up on all of the Milwaukee releases from this week. You know what, though? I'm very much unimpressed because all these tool companies keep coming out with all of these new tools. When is somebody else going to come out with a walk-behind edger so I can pit it against my Ryobi? So the video I'm doing this week is going to pit my Ryobi edger, the new battery-operated one, against my Craftsman four-wheel walk-behind gasoline edger. That should be an interesting one. So, so, so the companies have disappointed me with, by not coming up with a walk-behind edger, and nobody has come up with a leaf vacuum with a bag on it. Why not? Why, if they have blowers and stuff, why can't they come up with those? We're going to do a spot check on the ladders. By the way, one of the other items we're giving away on Sunday night, I don't see it here because I think they sold out, the ladder jack. If you guys know what the ladder jack is, I don't see one here. Uh, actually, it looks like their whole thing is gone. But we, we have one that we're giving away. The ladder jack is when you have a ladder like this and you have two ladders five feet apart, let's say, you can hook a ladder jack to one and a ladder jack to the other and run a, a scaffold board you know, between them. So we're giving away one of those too. Don't forget guys, Sunday night, for any of you who tuned in late, Sunday night, 8 p.m., we're drawing the winners. Look for my live stream that I did Monday night, four nights ago, and we put the links to all of the, the prizes to enter. Uh, the aluminum step ladder is down to 60. Is it this guy? Six foot? Yeah. No, this is the smaller one. Uh, they're not saying which one. I'll just put it put it here and you can look it up. There's the number for it. So they took a few bucks off of the six footer. And this one's off 60 bucks. So here's the, the 20 foot. And this is a 375 pound rating. I always show this because you know what? Every time I show one of these and I say it handles 375 there's always somebody that comes in and argues with me. You don't know what you're talking about. That doesn't handle 375 pounds. But anyway, there's your price on it. There's your evidence. So here you go, like 60 bucks off on that one. And I think that's about it though. So I gotta get this stuff home. I gotta start spraying my hedge. I let it get out of control this time. You know, last year, we went the whole year without having the spray. And then all of a sudden, when we were cutting it down a little bit today, I noticed those pesky little aphids and their little black discharge that they leave behind. And I, so I want to show you this right here with the mats. These mats right here are 888. They're huge and they're thick. You got black and you got brown. They're like more than a half inch thick. Pretty nice. And then lastly, I want to show you this uh, Ryobi display down here. Uh, because every once in a while, they get this display in which has all of these huge amounts of these pressure sprayers for 99 bucks. And I'm telling you, don't get them. Get the one that's, that's uh, 600 PSI. It costs more. But if you're going to get something in this type of, of realm, you want to get the higher one because this one is virtually useless I, ha I also have the dewalt one that's just 550 psi that's the one i recommend and i would not recommend getting any of these blowers that say 280 cfm those are just really really weak they're yeah they're tiny and but if you're expecting a little more blow out of it then you definitely don't want those you want to get a minimum of 400 cfm and my greenworks one that i have is um 740 CFM, I think. So they're starting to discount these guys. All right, so that's it for tonight. Remember, guys, we'll see you all on Sunday night. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions that didn't get answered, ask them down below. Have a great one, everybody.